Alright, so this is the PS2 uh, web server, and um, uh, basically how this works is that this takes a open source uh, operating system called a kernel loader, I believe that's what its, its official name is, kernel loader, so um, uh, it's a specialized open source operating system for um, uh, the PS2, and um, uh, basically um, I decided to just load it on here. And um, uh, see if I could run a web server on here, because this has an uh, Ethernet connection in the back. So I just went ahead and tried that. So let me show you actually how it boots up. So first we need to actually take and put this USB card in. And I need to pop out the disk. And this will turn on when I go to pop out the disk, because if I don't, it will try to boot into it, which it will not work, because that's one of the downsides to it, is that you need to have it modded, or soft modded, and basically that's what I have is I have free MC boot on my um, uh, flash, not flash card, but on um, my uh, save card right there. And um, uh, you still have to use a controller for a lot, so you can just go ahead and use this to run on with ELF, which is basically like the file manager, kind of. Alright, to get in. And mass is basically the flash drive, because it's mass storage. And basically you have to load this file right here. But before you do, you got to put in the, the disk. And, okay. And basically it loads a lot of the files off there. And there you go, see it runs. And this takes a little bit to run. Um, it takes a while. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to skip. Alright, here's something I just want to point out real quickly. This is during the boot process, but like right up here, it shows all the IP information. Um, shows the gateway and the local IP for the server. And this base. That's basically um uh, the only time that I can at least figure out of where to get the um uh, the IP. Well, it's probably in another file, but you have to pull it out. But I'm uh, I just want to point that out. That it does have you know full internet support and connection. And I'm um, uh. It should be booting up right now. You can see the um, uh, it is starting up its GUI. It doesn't have no GUI support, I believe. I believe you have to have it running. So um, uh, that kind of sucks. But yeah, you can see how it's running on MIPS and how it was last updated 2012, July 2012. So yep, there we go. Here's the GUI booting up. Here it is. And actually, once you're done booting up, you can actually pull that. So that's only for getting it to open up, I believe. And you can go ahead and plug your um, USB mouse back in. Because it should, after this point, be all loading from the disk. And I believe, I don't know if it runs off the RAM. I'm pretty sure it does. So, I mean, there's that. And there's another bad thing is that all around here, it's all black, but I'm not. Yeah. So, anyways, um, how I usually do and how I usually host is I just open up Xterm, like so. It does take a while because again, it's only 32 megs of RAM. So, and um, uh, now that we have that open, we can go ahead and go open to Sue because you can't do very much without it. So. And you don't even need to put in a password. Yeah, see, it's fantastic. So, one of the bad things about this is that that, um, uh, is that moving files on it. It's very difficult. So usually what I have to do is I have to um, uh, usually use wget. So what I do is I am um, uh, actually use my laptop as a host, as a, an Apache host, and I use wget to download it all. So I actually um, I'm actually going to go back to my home directory. So this basically is full, this is terminal, this isn't like, you know, emulated or anything, this is actual terminal, the only things you're going to really miss out on are a few things, I mean, this even has Python installed, which is the only reason why this is able to actually host, is because it has Python 2.5.3, I believe, Python. It should say when it opens up, I could have just done dash V, but... Uh, this is kind of easier. Yeah, Python, yeah, 2.5.2. So, alright. There. 
No, 2.9.5. Yeah, 2.952, I think. It's probably just messed up. It, yeah, it's 2.5.2. I don't know. It's probably just my monitor. That's TV that's messing that up. So, anyways, there's that. Um, I'm going to actually download the files, and I might get it running real quickly, because there's a command that you have to run. So, um, I'm going to download the files real quickly, and um, uh, then I'll show it when I go to boot it up. Alright, so I just downloaded the, um, uh, the, uh, zip file that I have all the site crap on, and, um, uh, unzipped it. So you can see that here from the local IP address to there. So, I can un start running it, because that's a command python, uh, space dash m, space simple HTTP server, uh, to port 80. And basically that starts up, and it basically um, starts the website on the address. So I can actually pull up its local address up on here. And that's up, which is fantastic. And um, uh, here it is, basically. This is the site. And that's it. Pretty fantastic. Um, also, um, here's kind of the, the cable situation going on in the back. Um, I believe, yeah, this is the AV cable right there. And to over there. And um, uh, there's the power cable and whatnot. So, no tricks or anything like that. This is an actual website running off a of PS2. So, um, uh, anyways, yeah, there you go.